Wednesday night. Pretty, pretty excited to uh, head off in the morning, heading to Bem River Comp. It's been, um, well, how long it's been? <laughs> oh my God, two years since I've been to Bem. So yeah, looking forward to get there. 12 months since I've done a comp. Um, comp last year in the Nicholson River. I finished 10th there, so I was lucky with that. Um, but yeah, getting excited, you know, uh, all packed. Load it up, head off first thing in the morning. Gonna stop in at the ABT weigh-in, well, presentation anyway, and uh, see how all the guys went and hopefully catch up with a few guys that I haven't seen for a couple of years. So, uh, should be should be plenty of fun. We'll see you on the road. River bound, just a quick fuel stop and fuel stop. Gotta have coffee. Love my coffee. Stocked up on coffee on my way. Uh, looking forward to it. It's gonna be a big weekend. Coffee time. Johnny boy's already on the jokes. Yeah, it's too early for jokes. It's too early, too early for too early for the vlogging, you reckon? Macy's gonna let one rip. What a joke or a fucking <laughs> <laughs> Oh whatever. Let's get coffee. <laughs> Let's get coffee. Uh, I see Gibbsy's already out of the water. Yeah. Yeah, well, in a sec. All right, Johnny's organised us a uh, beautiful double rainbow. Nice work, Johnny. Double rainbow, guys. Oh, look at oh, that. Double rainbow. Oh, so beautiful. <laughs> so beautiful. Beautiful. Good morning, really? Dale. How are you? I'm good, mate. How are you? Good, mate. We're, I'm, I'm actually going to sit in the car for about five minutes as that rolls through because that's about to. Finally organised. I'm so disorganised this event. It's. Uh, I thought I was uh, well planned, but just timing in the last couple of days, I've just been thrown out. So I'm finally on the water. It's nearly eight o'clock on for pre-fish day, which is nice and relaxing. So go out, find a few spots to fish, and we'll go from there. managed to find a couple now on prefish so definitely got a plan for tomorrow and uh, really excited about it first time I've sort of fished really fresh clean incoming water for yellowfin like in a long time so getting a couple on the board um, new spike 44s are 
basically killing it, uh, a couple on plastics. So nothing of any real size yet, but I imagine it's just a matter, I'm not trying too hard today, but it's just a matter, I reckon, of um, you know getting through them. Like, these guys are so tall, he just doesn't want to... One sec. Oh, I don't want to break a rod. I'm good at that. <laughs> okay, so. Cool looking fish. I mean, when you're used to fishing for black, so these are pretty cool, really cool colors on them. So, maybe a couple more spots to just check that I'm gonna get bites at. And then I've got, you know, three, four, five, and six spots where I know I can sort of come and target a few and hopefully put a, a reasonable bag together. Let's keep going. So pretty much done with my pre-fish. Um, nice way to finish off with this guy. The Moebi 44MR. So, need to find some bigger ones tomorrow though. Um, but got a bit of a plan so that's uh, a good start. Vent in the middle of the day. I never catch shit on vents. So, now I have. Ah, oh, not too bad, you? Yeah, I just changed. I just changed to it. I just threw a bent. Uh, 86 bent. That Wagasaki is just perfect imitation for the bait fish here. Let's have some more fun. All he's on. If he'd stop fluffing around with it and just land it, you know. I said if he'd stop fluffing around with it and just land it. There you go. Nice brimbo. Let's get one. I don't, know. I don't know if you can see it, but big eagle. That's unreal. Just circling around looking for a cheap feed. Probably would have to be the biggest catch today. I reckon it would almost go big At least a bastard. Big bastard, not big brim. Yeah, thanks for coming. Lucky I got Paulie here, he'll help me get it out. <coughs> it's Lucky gonna hurt. Paul to the rescue. See ya. <laughs> All right. So, we found. I was talking to Meiji. We found, we found the beginning of coronavirus right here. You gotta tell me when you zoom in. Not zoom in, when you roll. Little bad dude right there. Right there. Anyhow. <laughs> it's Japanese. You should do. So, welcome, one and all, to Bem River, Victoria. This event is part of Series 13 of the Hobie Kayak Fishing Series. Sees our good friends at the East Gippsland Shire Council and visit East Gippsland as our round sponsor for this weekend. To have the opportunity to return back to such an iconic brim fishery with such fantastic weather conditions, we are very, very lucky. 
Our good friends at the Ben River Hotel and Ben River Bait and Tackle. Um, as a fishing community, we are Ready, so big boy, Benny? Yeah. Ready? Oh, good day mate. from Benny today. Yeah, on, yeah. On the super vlog, Benny's, Benny's right. Yeah, uh, yeah, looking for about two kilos. Just to put me in the lead. Yep. Two kilos per fish. <laughs> Hello, mate. How are you? Very well. I have no idea because it disappeared. I got deleted. Dial back to 51. There you go. How could you delete the 51? No, I looked the other day. Brad told me it was there, but Jason, what <laughs> there, I, I thought he was lying. Oh, no. Significant thanks to both Brad Sidney's and Don't Jim leave Barry. your children around him. Guys, guys go through on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis to uh, continue to put a platform together that we believe is certainly the best kayak fishing platform in Australia. Is, um, is It's no mean feat. So, uh, not only the guys here, but we've also got a bunch of, uh, of great staff back at the factory in Huskisson that uh, do their very best to, uh, to make sure that we can put this together for you all. Heading back to the ramp to launch, so getting excited. Let's get this going. What a sunrise, too. What's wrong? Is your thing right? Is your um, put some water in it? It's alright. Like it wants to work, and here comes and it just stops. Oh, you haven't got an outlet, have you? No. Do you know what? Turn it off. There you go. Oh, business. Thank you, Dale. My friend. Put that on. Okay, straight to spot number one. Take my time. You know. That's right. I'm heading down the front. Good luck, Joel. Good luck, Joel. Good luck, Dale. You'll be on the road. Dale's back. That good luck. Want want lots of luck, don't we? Hey. Want lots of luck. Yeah, I will. Got 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 the pompies on. Hey. Got the pompies on. Poppies, I've got a couple of 5H spinner baits and a ganter on. Yeah, sweet. Started. I might upgrade later, go to a joy ganter on. <laughs> Not too much luck. Enough to catch fish. Did you get it sorted, man? Good luck, Joel. Full mel off. Everybody, full mel off. There he is. Follow the red jacket. <laughs> Follow the red jacket. 
How's the head today, Paul? Much, much better. Than yeah? Before. Want some more Panamax? Doesn't look no. better. <laughs> Doesn't, Doesn't look, look better. better. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go. Oh, good luck, Carl. Good luck, buddy. Good luck, Jordy. Thanks, oh, mate. Hooks are sharp. Watch it, Whoa, look at that, eh? It's got a squirter. <laughs> Oops, <sorry. laughs> He's a gusher. <laughs> it's going to be a gusher. I'm happy you punctured it already. Go, Johnny Rayo! Well, on my way down to the front of the system, um, you know, got quite a few fish here yesterday, so hopefully I'll fill the bag out early um, and then pick up some some really good fish in between would be good. So let's get into it. Well, that was a very long time for my first fish. It is 10.30 and literally it's probably just legal. So had a couple of hits, but it's been pretty hit and miss. Um, obviously I suck because I'm watching people catch fish all around me. Anyway, on the board, that's a start. Let's uh, get into some more. Well, heading back to weigh in on day one and I suck ass. One fish in the well. Very little one, dropped another one, and just couldn't do it today, but anyway, it's just another day in the water. We also have a number of affiliate sponsors in the team from the Fly Program, and also this weekend, in very spectacular fashion, we have the team from Escape with ET, Damo here on camera, and Andrew Enninghausen, who's been out on the water doing a bunch of filming for us today. It's absolutely amazing to have that level of support and to be able to bring the Hobie Kayak Fishing Series to the national stage and on national media. I'd also like to take this opportunity to announce a new sponsor to our series and their support will begin this year at the Australian Championships. I would ask that you put your hands together for the team at the Manic Tackle Project and Sims Apparel. They will be coming on board with us this year in July as part of the Australian Championship celebrations. To our amazing team at Hobie Fishing, thank you Jim and Brad and the team back at the factory. Without all of your support, these events are certainly not possible. And with that being said, Jimbo, we should be ready to go. All right, plenty of the bump tub and plenty in the line. Dylan Pace, come on up, Dylan. All right, we just keep saying it, three fish, three fish and three fish. So um, it seems like a, uh, a bit of a rest that this system might have had from, uh, I guess, a lot of tournament fishing has done quite well. But uh, in saying that, still, it's, um, it's been a little harder for some than it is for others. Um, anything you want to tell us about today? Oh, just a lot of casting. Yep. Mate, you've got to keep throwing it out there. But uh, given that, mate, um, you are right at the pointy end of the stick here. This is where it needs to be, ladies and gentlemen. 2.86 kilos in second place. Um, anything in there that you want to have a look at at 124? No, nah, biggest was 
just under 1-1, one, one, so... Rightio. I wish you, I had one. You take those, go and grab some great photos of those, mm -hmm. and uh, we look forward to seeing you in tomorrow. Sorry, seeing you again tomorrow. All right, I would dare say we must be inside our uh, last six or so. Dale Baxter. Now, Dale, um, this is a bit of a turn of events, buddy. You must have been helping out a whole lot of other people. I did my best. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, um, fishing is, uh, I don't know, it's got to be like golf, isn't it? Well, it beats working. So it you, does you beat know. working, mate. So um, I had to, had to keep reminding myself that all day. <laughs> oh, mate, great attitude. 570 grand sale. No worries. And uh, we'll Thanks, see mate. you tomorrow for sure. Thank you. Start comparison from yesterday, it's 7.18 and I'm on the board. So, nice uh, early 30s fish, uh, probably six, 700 grams, so I'll take that. Let's uh, get into another one, hopefully. Three up today, that's what we need. things turn around. Uh, it's now just gone 818 and I've just got number three which is an absolute cracker. I'd like three of those. So time to upgrade the other ones. Um, I'll hold this up for you. Give me one sec. See if I can minnow in oil flash UV on a 
116 to head. So yeah, freaking awesome. A couple more of those would be absolutely great. So Ooh, just had him hooked too. There you go. Cull tags, so I know which fish is which. All right, let's get an upgrade. That's what I want. Make my way over to Corey and say good day. See how he's going. He's caught a few. Three in the live well caught another three unders. One good one in there, two that I want to upgrade. See if I can go and get that. Oh, that was a hit. That was a hit. That's a hook up right there. It feels a bit better too. Oh no, he's got me in the weed. Definitely just weed, I think. Oh, actually, am I? Charge that. I don't think it's big, I just think I've hooked him in the side. Oh, look at these mates, come and have a look. Yeah, I think I've hooked him in the belly. So he's a 30, 33, so he's not doing that to keep. Oh, do you reckon we can get another one from over there? It's like a bit of fish, but again, it might be the hookup. It's just a bit. Nah, I don't think it's. Yeah, 
Come on, up you come. How's it going, Dill? Good. Just need a pick up. You're a tin ass. CG? CG? How are you? Yes, I do today. Uh, yeah, a little bit. I, I got two out the front okay. and then came in and I got another really good one as I came in. I fished the channel on the way through. Yeah, you always straight past the yeah that, and that's what I thought. I thought you all, because you all wanted to get on this back thing. Yeah, we're sort of all racing each other, not racing. Yeah. We wanted our spot. For me, Dylan and um, Stevie were sort of coming across the air. And Dylan said, I'll go this corner. Stevie said he'll go over there. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, there was about five, so that's why I thought, like, no, I'll hold off at the front, and I'll just sort of see how I go. And about fifth cast, I got a fish, and then swapped over to a hard, and then got another one, um, and then slowly made my way in, sort of fished the flat a little bit. And then came in and then thought, all oh, you guys are throwing surface, so I'll throw a plastic, just something different. And um, and then got that one deeper in the channel. Yep. And then I succumbed and I started, because I, I thought, I was trying to work out who was who, and then I realised you were down in this corner because I yeah, saw the net. Hey? Yeah. No, no, nothing. Yeah. So then I thought, oh, I'll make my way down and see how he's going. And I fish surface all the way across and Yeah, they everywhere. It's just they're all for it. Yeah. I got one upgrade. So yeah. I upgraded by a centimetre and a half. My scales aren't working, so Oh really? I left my bloody tape at home. But... Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Round 11 Series 13 as part of the Hobie Kayak Fishing Series here at Bem River in Victoria. Um, as part of our partnerships and our sponsorship group, uh, East Gippsland Shire Council and Visit East Gippsland um, have come on board as part of Series 13 and I'd like to welcome the Mayor of the East Gippsland Shire Council, Mr Mark Reeves, to say a few words. Good afternoon everyone, thank you so much for being here, what an amazing place. So yes, I'm Mark, I'm the Mayor and I'm from Marlow, so I'm not very far away. One of my favourite little destinations just here. What a great event. We are very pleased to be celebrating the 13th season this weekend and it's just a testament to how impressive it is. This national series brings anglers, you, from all over Australia to compete for some terrific prizes which we're just about to share. Corey, Corey Gallagher. Part of the team at AWS. Uh, so, Glenn, if you happen to be watching, g'day, mates. I uh, hope things are going really, really well down there in Geelong for you. But uh, 1.65 yesterday, do we have an improvement on that? Yeah, uh, it's not massive, but it's, no, but but it's an improvement. <laughs> um, I had a lot of fun catching them. What did that wind do for you today? Uh, yeah, well, I fished the flat at the river mouth on the way back. Yep. And, and it was like, I oh, should have been there all day. Nah. <laughs> Mate, you, um, you definitely got a couple of kilos there, I'd like to think. Yeah, quite really. That's a really handy bag. 2.36. Takes you just over the four kilo mark and in fifth. Enjoy. Always good to see you, Corey. Thank you very, very much, mate. Dale Baxter. Hey, there's the better number, buddy. One yesterday and three today. Um, it sounds like we've got the DB of old back on track. Was it the uh, the laughs and the shenanigans and the rumours and the lies from yesterday afternoon, or? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Mate, that's a that's a good bag. Yeah, it's all right. Got to be happy with that. It's happy just to get. Uh, you you wine. guess you guess and then I'll guess. No idea. No scales. Two two four. Two one four. There you go. I'll take two two four. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, if you can see if you can adjust that. <laughs> All right, let's keep bringing them up. Dylan Pace. 
Now, 286 for you yesterday, mate. Um, 275. Is what you need it's, it's gonna be pretty close. to take the lead. Oh, jeez, it is. Ooh. Crosser, hang on tight, mate. I've got a funny feeling this guy's about to rattle your cage. Dylan Pace, 286, needs 275. This could even have a three. 282, and our first place leader. Mate, that is a Hobie Fishing Worlds 10 I know. entrance right there if the rest of these guys, you can hold them off. Is there anything in there that's going to beat Jack Emmy at 1.26? Oh, Would you like to have a look? There's a 42er in there. I don't think he'll make it. It's your call. We'll have it. We'll check it. It's not going to cost you anything to do it. Check. All right. Our current leader. Jeez, that's a good looking fish. I think he's a bit over 1-1. One, one, yeah, I think you might be about right, mate. Let's have a look. One, one, four. You were right, mate. Um, 5.68 kilos is what the rest of this field is now chasing down to be part of our Hobie Fishing Worlds 10 team. All right, mate. Cheers. Fingers crossed. All right. Second place for his first time back in, I would say, nearly five years. Mate, um, you may not be invited back after this, but um, I'll leave that to a few others. Joel Crosby. Crosser. Mate, 2.85 kilos, 2.75 kilos, 5.6 overall. Um, mate, wherever you're doing to those cod, obviously works on the brim. Uh, just come between the guys, we'll get a photo. Mate, um, $1,435. <laughs> All right, well done, Crosser. All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, please have your clapping hands at the ready. This is likely to be one of the most single significant payouts and prizes that we have put together for some time. Um, on behalf of the team at Daiwa, I would like to thank the team at Daiwa very, very much for their efforts um, with us through the, uh, through the series over the last few years. Um, we have a guaranteed placement for the Australian Championships. Dylan, congratulations. You are also our final entrant for Hobie Fishing Worlds 10. Please put your hands together for Dylan Pace. Mate, um, 2.86 kilos day one, 2.82 kilos day two, 5.68 kilos combined overall. Mate, the trophy, a check, a check to the value of $2,765 and a prize pack there rolling together at at least another $2,400. It was well worth you being here this weekend, buddy. I reckon so. All right, once again, ladies, congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to Dylan Pace.